Today's the day. I just got Grok AI installed on the Tesla. Wanna check it out and see how legit it is. Is this something they could actually use? Now, I know right off the bat, it sounds cool. Like, oh, you're gonna have a AI in your car or whatever. But I really wanna find out like, what's the use case for it, you know? Like, cool, I have AI, but when and where am I gonna use it? So let's check it out, see how it looks. So once you're in the car, you could just go to your uh, apps and Grok will show up. I already have it down at the uh, search bar thingy, task bar. So when you click it, it's there. Hey Grok, uh, how do I make a pizza? Oh, making a pizza is fun. You'll need to mix flour, water, yeast, salt. Okay, now let's see if Grok can map me somewhere. Let's see, see if that, if we could do that at least. Map me to the nearest pizza place. Sorry, I can't control the maps here. So you see, at least for now, I know it's beta, but there's not really a use case. On the other hand, if I use voice command, all right, let's use voice command, just tap here. Take me to the nearest pizza place. There we go, see, it worked. So I think that's a little hint or a little taste of what is gonna be integrated with Grok AI because if the car itself does it already with just simple, you know, touch voice command or whatever, I feel like Grok AI, it has to integrate all of that together. So this is where I see it coming. Maybe there's some pending, you know, switches over with software, I don't know what the heck it's called, of, of Grok AI integrating with Google Maps or whatever maps they're gonna use. I feel like they use Google. I think once that switch is made, then things like that are gonna work more efficiently. And I can say, hey, Grok, uh, take me home or take me to the supermarket or, or wherever it may be, or take me to the airport, drop me off, and then park the car over here. That I feel like is gonna be the future. Also with full FSD, you know, coming unsupervised in the near future, I think that's gonna be like where I could chill, take a nap, and I can say, hey, Grok, uh, wake me up in 30 minutes or whatever, and it'll make a noise or, or whatever it may be. And I think that's where the integration is really gonna come. Right now, it's just the beginning. It's They're trying to slowly trickle it into the car. I believe this is one of the first cars with like full-blown AI working within, not just like a web browser, but it's actually integrated in the car software. And this is where it comes to another level of like, you know, leveling up in AI and technology within a car. And that's why when you have a Tesla, it's not necessarily just an electric, car you know a, a chassis four wheels and then they put battery packs in it you're actually driving like a robot essentially with the ai computers working hardware four on this one and you just get a whole plethora of all this tech innovative innovative type of things working in this vehicle so i'm really excited let me know what you think does it sound or seem like just a gimmick or is grok ai really going to take off in the near future for all teslas and then maybe even in the future of our homes optimus you name it all right, see you in the next one.